My name is Judy Wong. I am an associate professor in the Faculty of Pharmaceutical Sciences. So this is a rather new direction my lab is taking, how the genome or DNA is being packaged and how this packaging can hide or not the information that is connected. So as many people know, the double helical structure is just a two strand of DNA arranged in an anti parallel um, association, but in rare incidences, the DNA can be actually arranged in alternate, very rare structure. And one of these structures is called G-quadruplexes. These G-quadruplexes are located in strategic location. They actually mean something to the sequence that is associated with as another way of controlling where the information is being released and being read. So it's also compounded by the fact that there are two very um, serious neurodegenerative disease, ALS, as well as frontotemporal dementia. It's highly likely that formation of this structure is leading to the pathology of the disease. There are chemicals that actually allow us to freeze this structure. Sunny in the video is showing you that uh, we are doing this experiment in uh, human cell-based cell culture. Uh, so he is treating cells with this stabilizer of the G quadruplexes formation. The first assay that you saw is uh, looking at their formation under the microscope. There's two different reagents that allow us to visualize the formation of the G quadruplex in the nucleus of the cell. One is a G quadruplex antibody that tags to a fluorescent molecule to label where the G quadruplexes are formed in the nucleus. Another way of doing uh, of visualization or imaging is using uh, something called the DNA G quadruplex probe. So these are chemical that actually form or stabilize the G quadruplex structure. So by doing so, they have to bind to the G quadruplexes and they also can act as a signal where these G quadruplexes are. The other part of the clip that uh, the experiment that he's doing is understanding if we stabilize the G quadruplex, whether there will be a growth defect in the cells that are treated. That particular assay is a kinetic assay. So it's a microscope inside an incubator. So once he treated the cells, he'll put it inside the incubator, the cell would assume normal growth. And so far, what we find is that cancer cells in general are much more sensitive to this G quadruplex chemical than normal human cells that are immortalized with telomerase. So these are non-cancerous cells. They're still growing in the, in the tissue culture plate, but somehow they are less sensitive to the effect of uh, this chemical. So we're trying to understand why mm -hmm. and whether that is actually a therapeutic angle. When you work on a new area that interests you, it's like a kid going into a candy store. There's so many interesting question that you want to answer. The difficulties is picking out the one that you can at the time with the technology that's available that actually makes the most sense for understanding the biology.